Oh, I gotta there see you it. Go on. Is it? I have no idea what That's it is. Pretty good size, isn't it? Oh. <laughs> nice one. I think you do have one. That's a fish, Bobby. <laughs> You gotta catch them pretty fast. The guy don't show up till four o'clock in the afternoon. To go fishing. <laughs> well, I got one too. First hook up. First hook up is three. Look at that. Look at that. Ah, that's what I'm talking about. God, that's great. <laughs> oh my goodness. Holy cow, that's a big fish. God, you see him come that, get that wake bait? That hit, what a strike. A Holy cow, what a strike. Look at that fish. The first fish I caught on that wake bait. The very first fish I caught on that. I don't even remember what it's called. Cajun wake. A Cajun wake. The first bass I catch is a giant. Look at that. Look at that fish. Holy smokes. He come up and ate it off the top of the water. It's really not a top water bait, though. It's a wake bait. We, we've been making our own for years. And I, and I got the lucky strike. I said, we got to have a wake bait. we got to make one. And they came up with one. And I don't even think this is the best color in the world, but that bass right there thought it was a pretty good color. Holy cow. Oh, golly. Look at the size of that fish. Oh, my goodness. That's a big fish. Look at that. Yes, look at that, Joe. Healthy. Very healthy. Wow. Look at the belly on that girl. What do you think weighs? My what do you think goodness. Weighs? My goodness. Six pounds. And she is hooked too. Uh, God, I can't even turn loose that bait. The hooks are so sharp. God, look at that big fish. Look at that big fish, Joe. Uh, hey, Joe, Joe, you got to take my picture. You got to take my picture, man. This is a big fish. This is a big fish. Golly. Here you go, buddy. Here you go. I know the sun's kind of wrong, but. Does it's this okay. mean when I catch the big one, you're going to take a picture of me? You got to catch a big one first, pal. <laughs> Here you go. Wait a minute. Yeah. Get, right now it might not be shadows. I don't take one of anything, Jimmy. You delete what you don't want. Got it? Yeah. Ooh, gotta get you back in the water, girl. Don't keep them out of the water very long to take their picture. Don't do that. She's wanting some more sugar. She's thinking about coming up and asking for some more sugar. There's your foot. There's your Maybe she's not. <laughs> This wake bait is called a Cajun baby. It's by, by Lucky Strike. I think I actually think Bobby Dennis designed this bait. And and you know, to me that is not exactly the, the best color in the world. I like chrome colors, but uh, that's got that's a beautiful color. Now, I'm not saying that it's got eyes that are shining just like shad. And this is what the fish is seeing down there on the bottom. They got the little red on there, like I like to put all my baits. It's got white on the bottom, it's got extremely good hooks. Extremely good hooks. Got a big split ring on it, so it's got, and, and this bait wakes, it does not dive. It looks like a diving bait, but it does not. And let me tell you, wake baits are baits that they don't see very often, and they will absolutely smoke them sometime. It's better after the spawn. Sometimes you can catch them before the spawn, but it's better after the spawn, summertime bait. It's an incredible schooling fish bait. And uh, I'll do some videos and put up on YouTube uh, about, about some things that we do with wake baits because we've been fishing them for years. It's kind of one of those pro secrets. They don't talk about them much because we take actual stick baits, uh, you know, like jerk baits. We take jerk baits and that float, and and we we make we make you know, we make wake baits out of them. Is what we do, and uh, but it's quite a bit of work and effort. But you know you need and you don't need many of them. You don't ever hang them up because you got them up on top of the water. Uh, you'll finally just wear some of them out because you caught so many fish on them. But, uh, but, but the big deal is that it's a lot of work to do it. And, you know, to have one that you can take right out of the package and do nothing other than tie it on and catch a six pound fish, the very first fish on it, is amazing. Yep. Ooh, come out of that tree. Yep. Come up out of that tree. That's yep. what I was talking about I've earlier. Got a little more meat. Coming out, coming out of that tree. Suspended in those treetops. I won't leave it. put the slack in there this time to get him off. Yeah, coming out of those treetops. That's the first one that's done it. But I bet you some more do it. Man, that is awesome. I mean, pure awesome. Pure awesome. Jimmy, look where the bait is. 
Hooked him on the outside of the mouth. Oh, we're gonna break him in this way because I don't want to break him. Hooked him on the outside of the mouth. You're gonna break that rod grabbing a hold oh, of him. That's not mine. <laughs> not your rod, you don't care. I don't mind. You see it, you see it fall off? Yeah, I like that. I like that. All right, God, the truth hurts. <laughs> I don't care. It's not mine. <laughs> You can break that rod and grab it in the middle like that. Somebody I don't care. I laid him down the floor. The lure just flipped off. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> oh, are they coming up eating that bait? I told you I gave you the best color, didn't I? This portion of Jimmy Houston Outdoors has been brought to you by Mercury Marine. Go boldly. Jimmy Houston Outdoors, America's favorite fishing show, is brought to you by tracker boats call 1-800-TRACKER today by mercury marine go boldly by soft science supreme comfort footwear for the angler by shell rotella the engine oil that works as hard as you do and by super start batteries available exclusively at o'reilly auto parts say don't catch one now <laughs> we have a problem folks we i got one too there's that school of them there issue. i got your i got one too wow. hey, hey hey i'm trying to back us up I'm yeah you are yeah i can tell you're trying to back me up you're all right you're all right and don't you don't want to lose the bait but you don't care about the fish i don't care about the fish <laughs> i got my fish hot dog there's another one with him I it was a school of them it was a school of them i caught mine in a tree what about you i caught him right where you caught yours i was following back behind it Where's your fish, Joe? Here's mine. Where's yours, buddy? I'll take, take a good picture oh. of that one. I can't believe you allowed me your to fish get is in the up. tree. I can't believe you. What's your back fish doing up? in the tree? We ought to know better, and we're going Whoop. down. We're going down. Now you leave my fish alone. Let me see your rod. You leave my fish alone. Let me see your rod. Leave my fish alone. Let me see your rod. Oh, I'm not leaving you. <laughs> my rod? What, what do you think? I'm crazy? There. You're going to have to retie after all that. Here, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on, hang on, no fall. I turned anyone out there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, you're going to have to retie anyway. All I did is cut it off for you. Well, this one. There was another one. There was another one. There was another one with that one. Oh, oh. This is the first one that has really stuck it down deep. There was another one with mine, so there was at least three fish there. Yeah. But I, I caught him right at the same spot you caught yours. The, while you're catching them in that open water, those are school fish running around. Yeah. They're school fish, and they're just running around out here chasing shad. You caught that one out of a tree, either. but those you're catching in open water are, are, are school fish, and they're just cruising around in open water. They got through spawning, and they're schooling back up again. Yeah. Jimmy, excuse me, you don't have a Thank you. I mean, we're down deep in this one here. Gonna be hanging in a tree. Boy, that is some dynamite stuff right there. Woo -hoo. There's another one right here too. I saw him. I think he was actually the smallest one of the three. You You're probably the biggest, the biggest one. The biggest one. Are you actually going to catch caught. one after you cut my line off? Yeah, I cut your line off. Well, yeah, he's going to have to retire. I remember that. Can we come back around and hook him for you? Can you handle that? <laughs> I worked for this. <laughs> <laughs> you did. There is no doubt about it. You did. What's well, a good hey, fish? Will you take too. a picture of these things like this? <laughs> you put the fish back in the water before he dies. No, will you take a picture? <laughs> Joe, they cannot breathe out of the water. Well, you're the one that was hanging him. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can believe that. Poor fish. I got it. I'm telling you, I took a picture of you and your bait. <laughs> I suppose you want to take that bait home with you now and throw it over around your dock. Hey, well, you, can throw that, or, you can throw that around off your boat at Table Rock and catch it. That's already a foregone conclusion. I know. They'd probably take the rod and reel, too. <laughs> <laughs> there he is. He got it sitting still. It's not a very big fish, I don't think. No, he's not bad. No, he's not no. bad. I thought he was a lot smaller than that. He just come up and snapped it right off the top of the water. Wasn't hooked very good either. <laughs> if I perfect catch, I heard him come up and get it. Ooh, nice one. Ooh, 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 a good one, Joe. Yeah, that fish come right out of that tree. I mean, right out of that tree. That's a nice fish. 
I'm afraid to give him a I'm afraid to hook the barbs on him. <laughs> Got shoulders on him. Shoulders on him. Jump one more time. You almost look like Bill Dance up there doing all well, that back and forth. Well, I just wanted to kind of wear him out so he doesn't flop when I, <laughs> when I grab him with the top water. So. I get the hooks out of you, don't worry. Yeah. If they get in there, I got a fishing line trick, I'll take it out. Totally painless. I've taken hundreds out, I've never felt a thing. <laughs> it's not a problem. I'll take that hook right out of you. I can bet you just can't say you've never heard a thing. <laughs> I've heard a few choice words when I've taken them out of people. No, it doesn't hurt, I'm telling you. Go ahead and stick one in there, I'll show you, I'll prove uh, it to you. No, my dad just showed me how to snap one out. I said, don't show me how to snap one, show me. You know. I got that one. I'm getting in this calmer water, having to let that bait sit there a little bit longer. Oh, come here, baby. You wanna get this in for me, Joe, since you're down there on your knees? Hey, Joe, hey, uh, you dropped the hooks over the side of the boat. Uh, you get the hooks, I'll get the bass. <laughs> oh man, that big guy, that guy's got every hook in him. Every hook. Joe, I gave you my needle nose. My needle nose? Yep. You gotta have them, I'm afraid. My line is twisted to who knows what. You gotta have them. Fish cannot feel pain, you know, you see that and talk about getting hooks in your body. They can't feel pain, they're cold blooded. So when you're doing that, you're really not hurting the fish at all. You wanna be as careful because you don't wanna really damage them or injure them, but, but they, they can't feel that. When I, when I kind of pitch them back in, you know, I, I know that, uh, you know, probably releasing the fish down over the side of the boat gently is kind of a good way to do it. There's nothing wrong with that, that's cool. But, uh, but let me tell you, as you get older, Bending over and getting back up is a little harder than it used to be. So, but when you throw them in, just kind of turn them where they just dive head in. You know, they do that all the time out there feeding. They jump out of the water and come back down head first. It doesn't hurt them a bit. Jimmy's Look Back is brought to you by Tracker Boats. Call 1-800-TRACKER today. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Well, they're eating that albino. I'm telling you, they are eating that albino. Come here, buddy. Oh, wow. Boy, that's, Look how fat that fish is. Those are is. nice crappie right there. I guarantee you. Those are really, really nice crappie. Oh, here we go. Oh, you got one, too. That's a nice I'll tell you what, too. Jim, I got to tell you something about this one right here. I was out here last week. Man, he what that a same slam. One, released him. Hey, no, I took my marks a lot and put that mark down his oh, back. That's the yeah, same. Right. <laughs> hey, I had a guy ask me the other day, what causes that black line down there? Down That's there, a right? hybrid black crappie. A hybrid black crappie. Yes. Right. I, had, I had a buddy of mine, we were crappie fishing the other day, and he Boy. asked me about that. And I, I really didn't know. Boy, look at the shoulders on That's that puppy. That's a nice one right look there. That. That is a nice one. That's about two inches thick across the back. That is a good crappie right there. Easy Get that there. live well. Thank you, sir. Let me get that live well on there, Jim. That is a nice fish. You know what, Wally, I feel kind of sorry for all these cars going by. I mean, everybody's going to work. Here it is early in the morning. Everybody's heading to work, and here we are. <laughs> well, work is for people that don't know how to fish. You're right. Work <laughs> is for people that don't know how to fish. Since I'm not smart enough to make a living doing anything else, I just fish. That's all I do. I hear you. I kind of enjoy it. You're cropping. I kind of enjoy it. There he is. There he is. He was is. down there a little deeper, wasn't he? Yeah, that fish was down about 12 foot. Ooh, that's a nice Ooh. one, too. Yeah, they're all nice. That is a nice one, too. Come here, big boy. Let's flip you up right here. Boy, you can't hardly grip them. Hello crappie. down there. <laughs> that is a good crappie right there. You won't have to put him on a measuring stick. Let me ease back here, Jim. Jimmy's Look Back has been brought to you by Tracker Boats. Ooh, I heard that one. I got a bite too. We both got a bite at the same time. <laughs> well, on one side of the boat, the other side of the boat. <laughs> 
That's funny, Joe. That last one I had, that's a good one right there. Oh my goodness. Can you pull them in together? <laughs> there you go. Looky there. Looky there. I think yours might be a little bit. Well, of course it is. <laughs> Looky there. There's a pair to draw to right there. Oh, they're about the same size. Yeah, they're close. They're about the same size. Just, I'll take mine back. Back when, I oh, wouldn't take the pressure off. Back when we were kids, Joe and I used to double date, and uh, we would always find really good-looking girls. And occasionally, when we got ready, J Joe was real bashful, and so we'd take the girls back home at the end of the evening. Uh, he would always worry about the parents of the girls getting really upset, so I would have to walk his girl back to the house at the end of the night. And I'd always give his girl a kiss just so she'd be have a good night kiss. Give me my give me my girlfriend back. Hey, no, no hurry. That's mine. That's mine. No, it's good. Look at the bait. Yeah, look at, open it. Take it out. Take it out. Take it out. You take it out. Don't You're gonna fool with it. Just a second. Don't hook yourself. The good night kiss is what I did. Thank you, Jimmy. Get the hook out of the fish today. <laughs> but you notice he never even touched the fish. That's the reason I had to kiss his girlfriend for him. Oh, that's not. Too much. We'll have a clue for the. <laughs> now you show them to me. In here. Joe. <laughs> Where am I you get penalized right 30 minutes at MLF for not only not only not only letting the boat fish touch the carpet. Careful, it's a, don't bend my hooks. Don't bend your hooks. You didn't have to catch it right there. Holy what? smokes. It wasn't even hooked to that. Judge O! I don't! I don't, 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 I don't. This, you you got, you got, but you're bending the hook in. No, I'm not. You are. You had the others. I backed it off. <laughs> Get back here in the other end of the boat where you belong. Well, I'm glad I got that one. <laughs> Look at, look at look at what he did to my line. He had the pliers all over my Look at that. Look at the line. Pliers, look at You'll get back here and back in the boat where you belong. <laughs> Don't you come up here again. Jeez. Hey, Wiz. <laughs> Betty's caught 30 trees today. Don't say anything about it. But he's had. I got his bait out of a tree a minute ago, yep. and I looked up there and I said, what is that moving in that tree? And I looked up there, there's a mama coon and three babies <laughs> trying to get after his bait. <laughs> they thought a doggone crawdad or something had crawled up in that tree. Yeah. Jimmy Houston knot, double your line, let it go through the eye of the bait, lay the double line on the index finger of your left hand, wrap that four times, uno, dos, tres, cuatro, back through the hole in the middle, tighten it down, perfecto mi amigos, <laughs> yes, can you believe that, he threw to the bank, I threw out to a tree, and both of those fish struck exactly at the same time, maybe like three seconds apart, they were twins, oh, they were twins, mine were much larger, I'm going to throw back <laughs> that tree again, if I'd have been Joe, I'd have thrown back the tree where I caught that. I did. Man. Jimmy Houston Outdoors is brought to you by Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. Your adventure starts here. By High Seas, when the money's on the line. By Jackson Kayak, Advantage Fisherman. By Orion Coolers, never lose your cool. And by Lucky Strike, where preparation and opportunity collide. Houston's Helpful Hits is brought to you by Jimmy Houston High Tech Performance Fishing Rods. A wake bait, one of the specialized baits in fishing that you're just not going to go out there and throw every day, like a spinner bait or a jig or a plastic worm, a sinking worm. Uh, it's a bait that's specialized and really and truly not a lot of fishermen fish with them and they're missing a big mistake because not only is it a great fish catching bait, it's one of the very best baits 
that you can use as far as just fun, just pure fun, and it'll catch them when a lot of other baits won't. When to use that bait? The very best time is after the fish have got through spawning. One of the reasons is that bass suspend after they get through spawning. They cannot go deep immediately, so they don't move back to their summer holes right after a spawn. They move out and they'll get in the tops of trees, on points, around boat docks, in bushes, usually two to five foot deep. Four or five foot, over 20 foot of water, that's probably the optimum that you're looking for right there, if you can find that. You can run a wake bait over the top of that, and it really, really causes those fish from coming a long way and hit. The dynamite action on that, the wake on top of the water, they just really can't stand it. It draws fish from long distances. The other time where it works really, really good is in when you have schooling fish, particularly in really clear water lakes. And if the water's very muddy, fish don't probably school on top of the water. But if they're chasing shad around on top of the water, this is a dynamite bait for schooling fish. Works really good for stripers too, by the way. But, uh, but for bass that are schooling, if you got a lake that's got spotted bass in it, one of the places where this bait really became popular was Table Rock Lake over in Arkansas. A lot of schooling fish, a lot of those fish are spotted bass. Uh, uh, Kentucky bass we call them and it, it, you just can catch better with a wake bait than you can anything else and the cool thing about a wake bait you can throw it up there in a foot of water drag it back being 60 foot and still get a bite don't forget that you can catch a bait on a, a bass on a wake bait when you can't catch them on anywhere else Cajun wake well it's late in the day and the sun's getting low caught me a big but let it go I sure had fun just watching him stretch my line.